This is Ask the Experts, sponsored by DesertPolymerFlooring.com, your concrete coating superstore. These are your concrete coating experts. They have the answers to take your project to the next level. Meet Charles LaSalle, an expert in concrete coatings with over 25 years of experience as an innovator in applications and an authority in polyurethanes, epoxies, metallics, and floor preparation. Charles LaSalle is an industry leader. What's going on, man? You are so out of control. How do you get all this energy? What is um, up with you? Dude, it's crazy, but I have natural energy. Like, if I take coffee, it will actually bring me down. Oh, well, you're a unique guy. What's dude, going on? Good, man. What's going on? Hey, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying. What's going I on? I love it. Uh, you're what's going on, man. First of all, you know, let me let me introduce you and say that you are the guy who pretty much knows everything about everything when it comes to flooring. You are the man, the legend uh, in the flooring business, dude. Well, you know, <laughs> that's very kind of you. I try and it is an evolving market where you learn something every day. You've been doing this for a long time, though. You've been doing this for, what, like over 20 years or so, right? Over 25 years now. I've been in the, years. in the business, yes. Wow. Well, I want to talk about something that's really important this week because uh, people ask about it all the time. We have uh, consumers who ask. We have contractors who ask. Yeah. And I want to talk about efflorescence. Okay. First question I have for you is... What is efflorescence? Uh, efflorescence. I get asked that a lot. Yeah. Efflorescence are really just mineral salts left on the top of concrete. Uh, okay. And and, it's, and if you taste it, it tastes like table salt. So really, <laughs> it's calcium chloride. So you're saying I can put it on my eggs then? You could. You could. <laughs> I, I would do something like that. I, would, I believe you would, yes, dude. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. But basically, it's just the deposits of salts from, okay. from the movement of water to the top of the concrete. What causes the efflorescence? Well, again, it's moisture, called moisture vapor transmission in, okay. in simple terms, that comes through the concrete. Okay. Concrete is, is a porous substrate, actually, and so water is able to move through that from the underlying soil. So as it reaches the surface of the concrete, mm -hmm. it's brought the minerals from the, the ground as well as the concrete, and by the time it hits the top of the surface, you have what they call efflorescence. Is there a way that either a homeowner mm -hmm. or a contractor can detect efflorescence other than just looking at it? So there are test kits available. Uh, a calcium chloride test is the one of the most popular tests that you could do. So how does this work? Well, it, it's a basic, it has the instructions in there, okay. but what it does is it, is it has this container mm -hmm. that you, you untape, it's got a glue component here, okay. and there's instructions in here, that's a tray, and the tray gotcha. is open, and there are granules in it that will soak up the moisture. So when Got you put it, it down, like this, on top of a moisture a slab that might have moisture yeah. issues, it's filling that cup from the vapor transmission. The moisture that's coming up will fill that cup, and that cup is then weighed. The weight of that cup tells you how many pounds per square inch of moisture you have in that slab. Okay, so what are the options? What what can you apply? What can you use to, to fix it? First off, is it fixable? Yes, it is. Okay. There, there are remediations out there okay. that will prevent moisture uh, from coming up through the slab okay. and causing damage to coatings and overlayments. The, the good news is there's a vapor salt primer. Mm -hmm. uh, the vapor salt primer has been designed to hold back all levels of moisture vapor transmission. I've actually worked with this for now uh, over 10 years and, okay. and it's been very successful in, in stopping all levels of moisture vapor transmission. You've got a vapor salt primer. Yes. And you've got a vapor salt 100. This is a question that comes in all the time. Okay. People want to know what is the difference between the two? I don't know. So again, you're educating me while we're educating okay. you. Well, good. I'm glad you asked that question. Mm -hmm. I get asked that too. Yeah. The vapor salt system is designed for, you have two different types of epoxies. Okay. One is designed the vapor salt primer as a low viscosity application to where it is meaning below viscosity it's a thinner type of material mm -hmm. is a water-based epoxy that can go on what they call silicate contaminated concrete that means it's been treated with a hardener of some sort okay okay gotcha. and that may be a hard to sur a surface that's really hard for coatings to stick to well the, the nature of the vapor salt water-based primer is that it can bond and go down deep into the capillaries of the concrete and make a, a tight tight bond okay. or otherwise another coating might not be able to bite into it. And that would keep the moisture completely down? It will keep it down with the ultra system. It will keep about 10 maybe 12 pounds per square inch with the vapor solve primer. Now if you go into the ultra system mm -hmm. which would be your vapor solve 100. Okay. Your vapor solve 100 is 100% solids of hydrophobic epoxy resin okay. that could be used over the primer and you have a system called the Ultra System, and that handles all levels gotcha. of MVT. 
that moisture vapor transmission, it'll handle all levels of MVT, 20 pounds plus, guaranteed. So do you recommend using both products together? Or I do, you do? I okay. do recommend the both together, yes. Okay, uh, I know we've had people that use one or the other, are they making a mistake by doing that, or is that typical? Well, you know, as we evolve in this industry, people learn that even using the Vaporsol primer mm -hmm. as a first line of defense is better than using nothing at all. I agree. So it does hold back plenty of moisture. Now, if you see signs of moisture on the top of the concrete, mm. I would I would go with the whole Ultra system. Okay. Vaporsol primer and then the Vaporsol 100. I brought this rock on here and I kind of want you to, uh, Maximino, if you can zoom in on that rock real quick too. I brought this because I know you use this a lot of samples. Yeah. This yeah. is what the moisture would actually look like on your concrete, right? Well, this is an effect of moisture causing damage. Uh, this piece of concrete here, this is called the upper cream of concrete. These, this is called spalling. Okay. Wow. And, and that spalling is caused by the uh, eroding of the of the concrete off because of the efflorescence. The, those high alkalinity and those salts mm -hmm. will start to break down the concrete itself. Interesting, see? You so, can see it right here for yourself. So there's damage. Now if you see this sort of action, you definitely need to use the Vapor Salt Primer and the Vapor Salt 100 as the ultra system. And that's gonna protect from that happening, basically. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the question that people always wanna know, and I think yes. it's a good question, great yeah. way to uh, end the show, how long does it last? Well, it should last the lifetime of your of the concrete itself. Okay. I mean, concrete is is good 40, 50 years. Wow. So I think that this this based on what I've seen in yeah. the last 25 years, that you know these coatings when they're designed and done right mm -hmm. and they're applied correctly, should be a permanent bond to that concrete. I but agree. if the concrete crumbles, obviously it's lost its integrity sure, and sure. every coating will fail after sure. that. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you stand by this product. I know that you know you, you put your reputation on pretty much all the products that you use. Yes. So if you're, if you're having these kind of issues, you know, you're having uh, moisture issues in whether it's your garage floor or is it outdoors too, by the way? It, or is it just in garage, or is it? You can use it on all concrete. Okay, uh, so indoor or outdoor? Yes, commercial, okay. residential, industrial. Gotcha. Yes, okay. yes. So if you're having those kinds of issues, uh, obviously Vaporsol Primer would be your first line of defense. You can use an ultra system to put it together and really protect your floors, which I think is, is a great system, and because you stand by it, I believe that it is an amazing system to use. Show me a failure on this. I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> there you when go, that's an endorsement. Right, when it's done right, <laughs> yeah. and the contractor prepares the surface right, either by shot blasting or diamond grinding, okay. I have yet to see a failure using this system. So, good point. Um, floor preparation has a lot to do with Absolutely. the longevity of the product. Yes, then. it does. Okay, yes, it does. so you gotta get yourself a good contractor. Yeah. Chuck Lassell. Oh. oh, yes. You are the man, my friend. There he is again, waking me up. <laughs> Where do you, you get all this energy you. from? I'm telling you, man, just having, just having you here, man. Uh, uh, my heart is beeping. <laughs> this is the man, you know everything about everything, and I knew you would, and that's why yep. you're uh, part of this show here. If you want more information on, uh, on Vapor Salt Primer, um, or you just have questions about, you know, uh, moisture problems that you may be having, visit our website. It's on the screen now. It's at desertpolymerflooring.com.